Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4 and to Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique combat rifle December's Child and we'll also have a look at its mods and how I think it can be best used. And to acquire this weapon you will of course need the Far Harbor DLC installed. So the first thing we need to do is come to the Vim Pop Factory. On the map it can be found to the south southeast from the Nucleus. Now once inside the factory and in the big room on the ground floor with the huge vats, we need to come to the southeast corner where my character is currently standing. Here, as we can see on screen, we will find a terminal that will unlock this security door. So you need to crack the code, the door will open, and then we need to enter the elevator. And weirdly, the announcer says going up, even though this elevator takes you to the basement. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Anyhow, once in the basement, we want to walk down the stairs and head over to the room with the complex computer terminals. Over here, we can speak to an intercom by the name of KY. E1.1, which is some kind of AI system. Now this is very important. You can either get past a medium speech check, as we can see at the bottom there, open up. This will convince this AI to open up the doors and let us into the room in which we need to enter. Or you can bring Nick Valentine with you and he will be scanned and recognized as a synth. And then this KYE 1.1 will open the door trusting Nick Valentine. So once either of those has been done, the doors will open up and we can head through to the room in front of us. And over at the back of the room next to the steamer trunk on a table we will find December's child and it is very important that if you get into this room that you pick this weapon up as once you leave this area the room can never be opened again which will render December's child unobtainable for you so be sure to pick it up and on the local map inside the Vim basement December's child is found right here at the very northern point of the room where my character is currently standing so again be sure to grab the weapon now as always before looking at December's child's base stats I have reduced all of my character's special attributes that's 2-1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of December's Child. Now let's mod this thing out. In the receiver slot I'm going to be putting the powerful automatic receiver. This will make the weapon automatic, it will add 15% damage, it will double the fire rate and also increase the VATS cost by 25%. Next for the barrel we're going to be adding the long ported barrel which will increase the accuracy by 3 and take the range from 107 to 100 and 91. Next for the stock we're going to be adding the recoil compensating stock which will increase the accuracy once again by 3. It'll also reduce sight spread by 40%, reduce recoil by 30%, it'll increase the VATS cost by 20%, increase sight time by 10% and increase bash damage by 100% so doubling the bash damage. For the magazine we're going to be adding the large quick eject mag which will take the magazine size to 40. It'll also reduce the reload time by 20%. Now for the way that I'm going to be using this weapon and and how I think it is best used, we don't need a scope, so I'm going to be adding the reflex sight. And because I like to push boundaries and go against the grain, we're going to be going with the circle reflex sight instead of the dot. Sue me. Adding this will also increase the accuracy from 73 to 82, quite a jump. And lastly for the muzzle, we're going to be adding the suppressor. This of course suppresses the weapon, which means when the weapon is fired, it highly reduces your chance of being detected by enemies, because of course the shots are now essentially silent, making you harder to spot. It will reduce the range by about 30, but that trade-off is well worth it, as it also reduces the recoil by 25%, and ever so slightly increasing the accuracy from 82 to 83. So now that it has been modded out the way I think it could be best used, it has a base ballistic damage of 37, it uses the 5.56 round as ammunition, it has a fire rate of 90, its range is 161, its accuracy is 83, its weight is 21.3, and its value is 643. And as we can see up the top there, December's Child, lighter, and uses the 5.56 ammunition, 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. Now that legendary effect is actually a unique legendary effect, but when we really break it down it's not too unique, but we'll touch on that in a couple of minutes. So as we know, December's Child is a unique combat rifle, and the way that I have modded it out makes it the perfect sneaky commando weapon. Although it can be used for long range, not those super long range shots that are like 230 yards, it can't do that, but for most long range shots it can handle it. 
Although outside of that, it can become quite difficult for you, the player, to pull off because, of course, we have the reflex sight instead of a scope. So lining up an enemy with just a reflex sight at huge distances is quite difficult. But of course, VATs can help you up there, or you could, of course, just use a better weapon at doing that kind of stuff. Now, although taking out JFK may not be this weapon's strong point, where it does shine is medium range. And of course, because we put a reflex sight on it, it can be used just as easily, even at something like melee range. It's not something you particularly want, but because there's no scope, it's easy as me on Friday night. December's Child with his mod list is incredibly user-friendly. The recoil is basically non-existent, never once did I have an issue with it. Inside of that performs beautifully, and outside of that it's a piece of cake. And because we have the suppressor on it, we do want to use this weapon while sneaking. That is of course the main reason we put it on there. So provided you take a couple of extra seconds to line up the enemy through your reflex sight, it's happy days for you and end days for your foes. Although the base damage might seem a bit low, do not fear, after I got all the appropriate perks, including the commando perk, the bloody mess perk, and whatever the hell that sneak damage increase perk is called, I could actually start doing some seriously devastating damage with December's Child. So just with the damage mods, you can get the damage up to 85 per shot. And don't forget, it's fully automatic now. It also has a 25% faster fire rate, so you can fire off like 3 to 4 bullets a second. Also, with an ammunition capacity of 40, you're not exactly going to be running out of ammo anytime soon. So if it really boiled down to it, you could just hold down the trigger for about 10 seconds, unleashing a relentless torrent of bullets. But provided you're sneaking, and then with our shiny new friend the suppressor, at no point will you ever have to unload 40 shots at once. Once you fully max out the ninja perk, ranged sneak attacks will do 3.5 times normal damage. So 85 times 3.5 is just shy of 300. So provided you stay sneaking with your nice new suppressor, you hold down the trigger for about a second, unleashing 3 to 4 bullets, let's say it's 4, you're going to deliver 1200 damage to the enemy. Don't forget, it's automatic with a nice healthy 40 ammunition capacity, so if it comes down to it, you can just hold it down. And if you stay in sneak, you're going to be delivering around 1200 damage every second to that enemy. That's a lot of damage, and it's delivered quite quickly. And all you need to be doing to get these kind of damages is sneaking. And as we know, you can stay sneaking while you're standing next to an enemy, you can be 200 yards away. So this area where December's Child really shines can be utilized in literally just about any combat situation, making it one of the most versatile weapons I've ever used. And again, it's suppressed, so unless you do something quite silly, you're gonna stay sneaking, and then you can do exactly the same thing to the next enemy. Crouch down, take in a few breaths, and remove all of your malevolent arch nemeses in your own time. It is truly a wonderful weapon. And although it could still be useful for any character that doesn't sneak, again, sneaking is where this thing really shows its true colors. And I think it's an absolute must-have for any commando-styled character. Character. Ah yes, now it's time to talk about that unique legendary effect. Okay, so as I'm sure we know, the unique qualities of this effect are that it's lighter and uses the 5.56 ammunition. The 25% faster fire rate and the 15% faster reload are taken from the standard rapid legendary prefix. But once again, it's got these extras of being lighter and using a different type of ammunition. Now although the legendary modification name does not show up in game, in the game files it is labelled as the M4 carbine or carbine. Carbine. However, the value of this special legendary effects properties are dubious for a variety of reasons. Sadly, despite claiming to have reduced weight, December's Child weighs exactly as much as a regular combat rifle. It also boasts exactly the same damage rating as a regular combat rifle despite using a supposedly more powerful round, the 5.56mm. While the 45 rounds are one of the more uncommon types of ammunition, the 5.56mm rounds are even harder to come by. So you're doing the same damage but using rarer ammunition. And December's Child can still be modified to use the 38 rounds or the 308 rounds, thus making the weapon's most distinctive property entirely moot. Doing so basically turns December's Child into a regular combat rifle with the rapid legendary prefix, as the ammunition type can be changed and the benefit of being lighter doesn't exist, it weighs exactly the same. So dare I say it once again, what could have been a really cool weapon isn't. I mean it is still pretty damn cool. But these two new unique effects are not really existent. Again, it weighs exactly the same as a standard combat rifle, and its ammunition type, which is unique to this combat rifle, can be changed anyway. Although, if you do change it to a 38 round or a 308 round, it will not 
not be an automatic weapon. So if you want the automatic December's Child, you do need to remain with the 5.56mm rounds. So although that is rather disappointing, I still could not recommend this weapon more for you. If you mod it out the way I did and use it the way I did, sneaking, this thing's pretty devastating and it's pretty fun. Although now thinking about the failure of a legendary effect, perhaps it should be called December's Aborted Child. Or maybe even the coat hanger. What would come out? Some rolling stones or something? Google it. And here it is, December's Child in action. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide to Far Harbor's unique combat rifle, December's Child. I do hope that this video helped you in both acquiring it and understanding how it can best be used, taking into consideration of course its legendary effect. If you did enjoy this video and it did help you out, please consider clicking on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you have ever created created a child in December, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description. And as always, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.